All right, guys, I'm over here at Barnes & Noble, and now, look at this, now it finally 75% off on the, all the clearance item over here. Take a look at this. Nick Fury and Captain Marvel, the bomb jacket one. Remember, if you guys remember a couple videos, this is the one I needed. But now, this is like less than $5 because it's minus 75 cent, uh, I mean, minus 75 percent off and plus you got 10 percent off for being a member as well. So that's a lot, it's less than five dollars each. So that's a good custom for a bodysuit right there. And they got a couple more actually, more Nick Fury. Oh man, Nick Fury um, army building over here. Whew. Bunch of other pops as well for 75 percent off. So. Now it's the time. <laughs> sure, you guys check your Barnes and Noble. This is going to be a good day, guys. It's always good when you can find good Marvel Legends for the low. You know what I mean? Well, good is kind of a subjective. So, still, you know what I mean? This is less than five below Marvel Legends right here. So, it's a good day. Let's go ahead and start out this hunting deal, guys. Let's go. doing a giveaway for this X-Men Storm or Mr. Sinister right here and if you would like to enter in this giveaway all you gotta do is be a subscriber to this channel give a like to this video and follow my Instagram the link to my Instagram is underneath the description of this video and yes this is open to international as well comment down below which one would you like and enter in the location you currently reside in alright guys and if you still confused on how these rules is good to go about please Read the, the, underneath the description of this video, there is an example of how to enter in in this giveaway. The winner will be announced on my Instagram two weeks away from now. So if you don't follow the rules, your rule, your comments will be removed. Thank you. To, uh, start out this video over here at Walmart. And uh, take a look at this. They got a bunch. Optimus Prime the G1 over here. I've been searching this for a while because I think they are $35. So I've seen a lot of people are finding them for $35 right here. But it's still listed for $49.97. So I'm curious if it's $35. You know what I mean? And uh, look at this. This is the UPC. But this is retail for $50 without the trailer. <laughs> I'm not paying for that. I'm not paying $50 for an Optimus, small Optimus, even though the G1 is pretty cool. Look at this packaging though. Still good condition. So. You destroy everything you touch, Megatron. Because everything I touch is food for my hunger. My hunger for power! <laughs> Yeah, the card is nice too. So, I'm gonna see how much it is. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's $35, so. There's no scanner here, so. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, head out here and ring this up and see how much this costs. This one doesn't have a scanner, so I'm gonna have to. Uh, ooh, $25. All right. Well. $25, I'm taking it. I don't know why this Walmart doesn't have a scanner, but yeah. Hey guys, my name is Koi, aka SoCal Collector, and man, this week Walmart and uh, Target is uh, putting a lot of their toys on clearance. And uh, Target, I know, is resetting, so they're putting, they're going to put in a lot of new toys out, and uh, hopefully, uh, I can find some luck this week. So, but uh, before I do that, I want to show you guys right here. Yep. I just got this in the mail, the uh, Mezco Gomez Agent Edition, and I can't wait to open him up and show you guys all the accessory because this guy is all about accessory, you know what I mean? Um, but before we go on this toy hunt, I just want to uh, say thank you. Uh, hey guys, a lot of um, a lot of information I put down, like the DPCI, sometimes might be incorrect. So if you guys, if it is incorrect, please put it down in the comments and let me know, and I will reply with the correct information. 
Other than that, let's go ahead and check out Target real fast, guys. Let's go. And of course, I'm over here at the NECA section. And it uh, seems like right there, they still got one of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Two packs right there. Only the Don Donnie and Prang left. They have that uh, Godzilla King of Monster. Hmm. So, yeah, they are selling out fast, guys. So, first week there was a bunch. Second week, still some more. Now there's only one left. So, show you guys. Uh, check out the uh, NECA section. You know what I mean? I got this uh, last week. Or the yeah, last week or the week before that. But this is new. Freddy vs. Jason. That is definitely something new. Got those already. I believe I got those and then the Michael Myers. So. The pops look pretty good to be honest with you. Um, Stranger Things. Finally got 11. But uh. Hmm. Alright let's go check out uh. uh or the other section guys. All right, I'm over here at the transformer section. Nothing really new except for this right here. They have the uh, transformer siege, the 10 packs right here. Wow, it's really 10, 10. Here's the um, UPC, but yeah. Hmm. Wonder how much this costs. Definitely have to check out the uh, D uh, DCPI for this. That's pretty cool, actually. Hmm. He looks familiar. Like I have him doing the G1 version or something. But um, yeah. Nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary for the uh, uh, Star War uh, Star Wars section. Ooh, but they do have this. <laughs> this is a newscast the guy from um, Mario World 64. All right, he's the only one. Oh, bless you. Um, definitely had to pick this one up. And some. And someone mentioned my last video about. I guess this is the one, the bendable Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Jax, that shadow right there, and this is uh, Sonic, as the UPC guys. So, other than that, moving on. Uh, the WWE section. They still have that Goldberg here, like, it's like five of them for $16, so it's like half off. That is the uh, DPCI, guys. The belt is not. Someone asked me about that belt. It's not on that sale. Well, at least not in my area, you know what I mean? $6. Ooh, and they finally have the Vintage Wave, X-Men Vintage Wave. He's the only one I don't have. Hmm. You got the Iceman, ha! Huh. You got more Nightcrawler, Mr. Sinister, not a Nightcrawler. Wow, these guys are like everywhere now. This is the one I want. Because I didn't have it last time, so I definitely had to pick this one up, guys. Um, ooh. That is impressive in person. Mind you, 
there's a Thor and Captain America and Captain America is a Walmart exclusive so definitely we'll have to pick this one up so what else boom boom of course there's a storm Sugar. Yeah. There's a storm. Cyclops, pretty much the whole gang, guys. So, Dazzler down here. I guess nobody wants her. But. A silver samurai, look at that. And the words kind of chop off. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna have to pick most of those up. So, but that's it for right here. Alright, go ahead and head out. Starting to see a deeper clearance on some of those stuff. You know what I mean? Ooh, like this one right here. 1187 pieces for only $59. That's not bad. That's not bad. If it this a little bit more clearance, I'll definitely cop that. That's new. But um, thirty dollar for this party bus. You know what I mean? Um, that's not bad at all. Twenty one dollar for almost five hundred pieces. But they're Lego friends, so thirty dollars. Yeah, the clearance are good, don't get me wrong, but I'm just waiting for that, that one more time clearance, you know what I mean? One more time. Like this RK right here, that's not bad at all. This Pac-Man for $9. As you can, uh, it's very good for Dio. $9 now. Nine dollars. Um, back over here by the Marvel Legends. Ooh, wasn't this used to be fifteen? Now nine dollars. So, see, they got the walls. Dora Malaje. Dora Malaje. Yeah, I'm getting bad with my pronunciation here. Shuri, Loki. Welcome home, brother. You've had this coming for a long time, of course. But you know this. Hmm. All for nine dollars. Each. Black series, seven dollars. They gotta do have the troopers. I would say the troopers would be the only one that's worth it, but. I remember, I remember Black Friday. They usually have it for like six or seven dollars. So, Let's see what else? Turtle, I don't know, four fifty. But um, yeah, seems like I have. I'll pick these two up. I mean, the builder figure alone is worth nine dollars. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right guys, I am about to head out to my last and final target, but before we do that, I also pick up another Mezco right here, Blade. And uh, yeah, this is a regular version, but I can't wait to have him because uh, ever since they announced that new movie's coming out, gotta add him to my collection, you know what I mean? So anyway, let's go ahead and check out Target real fast. See if they, uh, we got any more uh, restock over there. Let's go. See if I can get any, uh, see if I can get anything new. But take a look at this. Oh, this is the Super Mario okay. Deluxe, Bowser yeah. Deluxe Castle right here. It's $40. Oh, the, um, that is the information. Oh, okay. Man, this guy is huge. I might pick this up if there is a yeah, sales going on though. That, but that's cool. Mind you, this is scale for this little 2.5 figure, not the 4 inches one. So. And I collect the 4 inches one. This is the 4 inches one. All right, so see if they have anything new. Take a look at this. 
this is the final piece I needed. So I got the cannonball. Oh no, no, no. I'm still missing the guardian. I got Mr. Sinister, Nightcrawler, Boom Boom, Cannonball, my last target, and Wolverine. So I'm missing the guardian, but that's still pretty cool. And that seemed like it's it. There's no other one, so that's the only one. They got four of this quantum suit, and they do have the Iron Man Mark 50 and Iron Spider. Wow. Pretty cool. Man. Alright, I guess this uh, this trip here is worth it. Definitely had to pick these two up. Let's see what else is around here. Take a look at this. They also have the Seeker Iron Storm. That's a storm, iron storm, and nova storm. And that is the information. $80 for all three. That's pretty good because it isn't technically there $30 each if there were a Voyager class. Yeah, so you're paying $80, so that's not bad. Plus, I got $25 target coupon. So I might pick this up. What do you guys think? <laughs> Other than that, there's nothing new really for Transformer. Yeah. That's it for Transformer. But um Yeah. Still think this is a good score. Luckily I stopped by here. <laughs> I was about to go home, but luckily I stopped by to the second target, you know what I mean? Anyway, um let's go ahead and check out the clearance, see if they have anything new. Seem like they have more of these um, Ronda Rousey and the Ultimate Warrior Ultimate Edition figure. Check out my last video, guys. Um, yeah, the information is in my last video. They have him as well too. In Dominus Rex, Target really. Hmm. Other than that, nothing really going on for Star Wars. So yeah, let's go check out the clearance section. Wow, wow, they got a lot of stuff on the clearance style. But this is uh, not really that deep of a clearance. It says 30%, but it's roughly between 30 and 50%, guys. So this is look like Ross right now, all right? You guys have to dig. <laughs> you guys have to dig, but take a look at this. The Chewbacca, it's only $5.98. It's not bad. I think that is the DPCI guys. So, if you guys are still looking at him or waiting for the wing game, make sure you guys check the target. Remember, this is a target exclusive, so yeah. Anyway, I think this is it. Take my prize and get out of here. This is so cool. Can't wait for this. Uh, mind you, um, I forgot to mention this. I think this is $50. So, yeah. So, anyway, I gotta go pick up that seeker. So, get out of here. Well, this is uh, what I picked up today. This is my haul. Let me know in the comment what you guys think of this haul. So, let's go ahead and real fast. I did pick up these two for $9 over there at uh, Walmart. And I finally picked up that Goldberg on clearance for $16. Two more for my uh, X Force Wave, the Wendigo, and now I'm missing the Guardian until I have the whole set. And then I couldn't pass up on these two. They were around 
less than five dollars. I believe it's like four dollar ish uh, or four fifty uh, each figure. So and I got these three right here: the Superman Alien two packs, that Karate Kid action figure, John Kreese right there, and that Splinter four packs, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive NECA right here. I ordered that uh, a while ago before the San Diego Comic Con uh, um, came. Uh, to be and uh, they finally uh, mailed to me so and then I got these uh, three the secret right here pretty cool and then of course I got the Iron Man right there which I'm gonna open later to see uh, show you guys showcase real fast and that Optimus Prime finally finish up the vintage X-Men wave Wolverine was the last one I needed that uh, Iron Man uh, Iron Spider 2 packs Gomez and Blade as well so let's go ahead and open some of these figs up and See some uh, size comparison and, and like here that. is how all three of this figure look outside the package guys and that's just i must say this is probably by far the best classic iron man that uh, marvel legend has come out with uh, hasbro has come out for marvel legend line you know what i mean so i am really really um wow there's nothing bad for me to say about this figure i highly recommend it and um, a lot of people compare try to compare him with the uh what, what was it the mezco iron man but I mean seriously that medical Iron Man is $80 this one is $25 so I mean for $25 you got a whole bunch of accessory plus the way it looks the way it feels uh, wow and this is how all three of this look um, com compare side by side guys and um, Blade is pretty cool he comes with multiple accessory right here but I mean he's not new so you guys uh, seen all other review on YouTube you guys probably know what all he come with and then I also pick up these uh, the Mezco Gomez uh, Agent um, Edition as well, and he comes with tons of accessory as well. In fact, this is what most people get him for is his accessory and the uh, the body uh, suit right there. But uh, one thing I do want to notice is that this right here, this boombox, one of his accessory, it comes well with like this two foam for his. Um, it's a uh, double as a boombox and also his carrying case for all his weapons and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think of these three figure and uh, are you guys planning to pick up the Iron Man or the Blade or the Mezco? As so here's a quick comparison between these three Iron Man right here. So this one is from the first Avenger Infinity War Thanos Wave Iron Man right here. And this one is from the Thanos 3 packs right here. This one has a light up gimmick right there he has a live gimmick so his articulate is limited because he doesn't have a uh, torso swivel in the middle right there be due to that uh, light up gimmick here's how all three of them look side by side you notice the new Iron Man the Mark 50 in the Iron Man 2 packs his color is more true to the uh, movies so let me know what you guys think of these three Iron Man and which one is your favorite and here's the difference between the old first Thanos wave Iron Man right here versus the Iron Man from the two packs and as you can see uh, noticeable difference is the uh, the new uh, Iron Man from two packs has this wrist right here from um, from the movie right here this one does not so the new one has this extra arm carrying thing on his back right here that's glued to the the back of the uh, iron spider versus the old one does not so that's another to me that's the only two noticeable difference the other one the paint app maybe but it's so slightly different that you probably won't notice it and here is a quick comparison between the two head scope between the old tom holland uh, head scope right there and the new one so let me get let me know what you guys uh, think in the comments uh which one is uh the better head scope guys and this is how both of these uh figures look with all their accessory right here and man i am loving this two figure i definitely recommend this two pack let me know uh what you guys think of this two pack or you guys plan to get it let me uh, let me know what you guys think of this haul and uh this video is getting kind of long so as always thank you for watching guys thank you for your audio support and uh this is old cow collector have a good hunt out there guys have a good weekend i'm out